horsey people we're back with horse reality and guys all of my foals my thoroughbred foals are here it seems like i've been waiting a while i'm not gonna lie though i did forget this this month that i had all of these coming but they are here now and i cannot wait to show you guys all of them uh some of them are really rare some of them are not but some of them are really rare and i i do need help with some of the colors actually guys so yeah so we're just going to pop through some of them and just see what we've actually managed to breed so this is a three very good -er. so this <laughs> good -er. that's not a word so this is going to be three very good i'm i'm pleased with that i did actually breed this one for stats rather than color uh so i'm really chuffed with that so any name suggestions that you guys have for this these thoroughbred foals then please do shoot so I'm just going to go through, check our achievements and see if we managed to breed anything, I don't know, really, really good today. But hey, we're breeding more very good stuff. <laughs> this isn't actually too bad, but I think this foal is a black. I did just do a genetics test on it. So here's the genetics, guys. What do you think? Is that a black horse? I think it is. I'm terrible with genetics, so I wouldn't know. I have no idea. No idea at all. Uh, we do have a lot of bays today. I was excited about this Mez uh, coat pattern actually because this is one of my favourites. I'm not going to lie. I love the... Is that like liver, liver chestnut? Oh, three very good as well. Oh, I'm pleased with that because um, I do want to breed some for stats and then some for colours, you know? Um, you guys know I'm more about my colours, but, you know, yeah. If we, could, if we could get both together, that would be great. We have managed to breed a lot of Palominos, <gasps> including this one, but his stats are terrible. Oh no. Um, so he's a beautiful horse, but his stats aren't great. So it's very sad, but he's got a really cool coat pattern. He's very cool. He has three below averages, which is not great, but it's okay. He's happy. So yeah, his dad was Romeo, who is the first Cremello that I ever bred. He's beautiful. We'll go over some of the studs in a bit, actually, guys. So I will show you all of those. So Rose here is one of my favorite mares here. So let's just check out her. Ooh, that's doing weird things. Ah, oh, we got one very good. Do you know, I don't mind as long as we have one very good, you know? So if you like games like this, guys, definitely check out things like Horse Eden eventing and uh horse world online though the graphics on that aren't, aren't too great um hunt and jump stuff like that there's there's some really good games out there okay this little little guy here has got one very good little palomino some of these horses they're probably going to be up for sale as well so do keep your eyes peeled on my account on my page here so i will be putting them up for sale if you want to add me as a friend or anything like that it's sss21 more than happy for you guys to like message me on that i don't answer messages or read them very often because i, I just don't have time so i'm really sorry I, i'd love to if i could but i just i just can't at the moment okay so let's carry on through some of these so that one's not got any very goods in there but that's not too bad you know this has got two very goods that's that's good because she's palomino as well we could start perhaps a golden line. <gasps> I had to show you guys this one. It's a Cremello. It's a Cremello and her dad is Romeo. So it's Romeo and Bonnie here. And we did in fact breed the Cremello, which is so cool. And I'm not sure what genes you see for Cremello. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so double, double cream. So that's a double dilute. So I'm starting to get the hang of this. <laughs> so it's a bay. A grey bay. <laughs> oh man, I'm so terrible at this. <laughs> oh no. Okay, uh, I'm not good at this. I think what we'll do today, guys, because I did actually, I have got the premium on this at the moment. I think we'll go to confirmation shows and we'll enter all of them in. I'm going to do that now, actually, because otherwise I'm going to forget because I have the worst memory in the world. I'm just going to enter all of those and just see where we're at with our horses when it comes to like their marking i suppose so let's go back to this one this one's definitely going to be a keeper mm, stats aren't great but the color is cool so that can stay in my like you know my, my color my color one because I've, I've split them all up into different sections so yeah he's he's not too bad he's got a lot of good which is good oh he's got one very good that's helpful 
Cool, so we're just going to put that in there. Again, that's Romeo's kid. Let's have a look at this. Let's see what achievements are. Okay, there's nothing bad in there. It's average and good, which is fine. That's got one very good, but it also has a lot of below average as well, <laughs> which is not ideal. This one's got one very good. That one's actually not too bad. We probably need to think about selling some of our foundation stock so then we can move on and breed better lines here. I don't know. You guys know how much I'm not into the technical side of things. <laughs> it's not me. So guys, if you love all sort of games with animals and stuff like that, you can go and check out Wild Lady Ranger Gamer. That's my other channel that's full of animals and stuff like that. I think you're going to have a hoot over there. In fact, you're going to have a wild time. So you can go and check out all those things. If I remember, again, probably won't. Um, I will remember to leave a link somewhere to that. This is cool. I do love horse reality, it's great. Tell you which one I've been really hooked on lately though, is Horse Eden Eventing, which I haven't played all week. Oh, it's another three very good. Oh, that's Elaine. Elaine's nice. So if we go to my horses, you can see I've got all of these in like different bits. So these are my top studs that I had from a previous life of breeding quarter horses. These are my rare colored thoroughbreds that I just really like. I think they're really nice looking horses. Um, personally, they're my, my favorite. Uh, basic brood, I don't know what I'm doing with that, but we have two horses here, as I say. Oh, this one's got three very good. Have I already marked that one up? Yes, I have marked that one up. And um, we have this beautiful black one in there. So yeah, basic brood, I don't know why or how I've kept them, but I do like this one a lot. I can't remember. <laughs> and then we have some rare studs. Now these are my stallion studs which I'm going to show you guys in a moment once I finish showing you all my fancy folds here. So, yeah, we already saw Daisy's folds, that's fine. Dusty had this fold. Is this a buckskin? I think it could be. It's got one very good though on it. So, I think what I might have to do is go through the whole of my, my uh, stud here and anything that has less than one very good probably needs to be sold. But then I kind of don't want to at the same time because I really like the colours. I like the colours. So Shadow's just had her foal as well. That's a really nice foal and it's got great stats on it because the dad was Native Dancer, which actually one of you guys gave me nat Native Dancer, which is really nice of you. So thank you so much for that. Very generous. Very generous. We did breed our Brumby horse actually and she gave birth to this little guy. Who cute is he? So actually, I'm going to put him up for sale now for a Lady Ranger um, horse. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'll just put it up for sale. How do I do that again? Oh, the button that says sell horse. Yeah, you guys can go buy a Lady Ranger horse. I don't mind. To go and give him a nice home. He's absolutely gorgeous. He's a Palomino. He'll do you guys well. I did want to do Mustangs as well. I think the one thing that would change this game for me is the unlimited stables because then I would be hooked on it more and then because I'm hooked on it more I'll probably be wanting to put money into it. This is what happens with me with Hunt and Jump. <laughs> oh this one's lovely let's check her achievements. Achievements aren't great. So Romeo you're gonna use Romeo for color rather than stats so if you've got a good mare with good stats but you want to add a spice of color in there then you're gonna be using Ro Romeo. So these are my stallions guys. So I have a beautiful Roan, Bertie, he's got two very good. Black Jack, he's black, I'm pretty sure. I mean, he could be a dark bay, I have no idea. But he's got one very good. We've got blue, he's a really cool color and actually not too bad stats, um, not too bad at all. We have blue eye, oh, we've gone off on the different. This is it. This also annoys me about horse reality, the fact it does this. So Woody is has one very good and he's a very cool color with blue eyes. Yep, it's done it again. <laughs> I might just talk through them like this then. Uh, so we have Phoenix as well. He's gorgeous. He's got one very good, but he's that like dark Palomino, which is gorgeous. Then we have Golden Rainbow. For me, is one of the nicest looking horses. He hasn't got great stats, I'm not going to lie, guys. But if you want to add color to a good statted mare, he's probably a good option there. Okay, gosh, this is annoying, this. I wonder if Horse Reality people ever watch this. 
This is what we need. We need unlimited stables and for your arrows to work in the correct order. So Scamp is very similar to the other two, but he has, he's that kind of liver chestnut again that I really, really like. Oh, he has gone off again. This is so annoying. What if there's a way of changing this? I don't know. What's this? Feel the heat with up to 200% extra DP bonus. Oh, if only. Uh, Snowman, white, he's got two very good stats as well, so he's actually a pretty good one to use. Then the last one is Toby. Toby's alright, Toby will probably be up for sale, but he's got dappled as well as Tobiano. So yeah, I've got some very cool stats at the moment um, on my studs. I've got some cool colours as well. Rainbow Gold and Romeo <laughs> happen to be my favourite, of course, they're Palominos. So these are all my foundation stock here, which I'm going to go through. I'm probably going to sell a load of horses, uh, which will be really tough for me, but we will definitely do it. And yeah, I don't know what's next for me on this game. I do like it. And these are the studs that I've got 12 very good, and they are really cool colours. I'm not going to lie. In fact, I should probably enter them and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to win anything for this. I have no idea. But the problem with me with horse reality is I love the artwork. I love the genetics. It's just everything else around it doesn't do it for me in the sense of like gets me hooked. Um, I think it's the lack of stables for me. I know we need to be like efficient and stuff and probably not have loads of horses, but I don't know. I don't know. I put this as guy up for sale, but I can't sell him. Poor ninja. <laughs> Nobody wants ninja. Oh dear. And what happens actually, is there a way of, I think there's a way of like giving up horses as well? I'm not really sure. You can go to the riding school. Ooh, what's this? What have I done? So you can go to the riding school and earn money through that way, but the best way to earn DP is just to have a really good stud farm. Like, that's what I would do. My dream, actually, is to have cool coloured, 12 very good thoroughbreds. That would be great. Oh, Heavenly Heights deceased. So Jerry's very cool. It's actually a very nice looking horse. He's kind of a buck skinny dumb thing. I don't really know. And it's gone off again, which is great. Jacob, blue roan. Beautiful. Or is that black roan? I don't really know. Then you've got the splash white. See, now I've been playing with the thoroughbreds. I now want my quarter horses back, <laughs> but I feel like I've achieved the game. I don't know. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. But what do I do with all these foals? I think I'm going to go through them, sell the ones that aren't going to stay, and we'll go from there. We didn't look at Darcy's foal yet. I don't think we looked at Darcy's foal yet. Oh, we did. Did I? Did I look at you? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. So what we do, we're going to go through, we're going to start some of the training that I definitely want to keep. Um, especially these like cool coloured ones, I love those. So we currently have, if we go to the estate, we can, uh, we only have 51 stables. Ouch. And we have 60 horses. Do I want to buy more? That's expensive I think for a stable. I think what we could do, horse reality if you're listening, I think we should make stables cheaper more affordable. Personally, uh, another thing you can do, you can go to the foundation, you can get, oh those Alex are beautiful. <gasps> is that new artwork? What is that? Is it new artwork? That's beautiful. I love the Alatique, which I can't say. Nugent Field's beautiful. I just, this is my favourite part of the game is buying them and starting from scratch, <laughs> almost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that artwork has upgraded on some of these. They are beautiful. Uh, these are absolutely stunning. But yeah, there's your thoroughbreds there. They're fine, but obviously you're going to get a lot of bays and things like that in there. We don't have paint horses on here yet, I don't think. Or do we? And I've messed that up. I have no idea. But you can go to like... Oh, there's retirement. Okay, so you can retire horses if we, if we need to. Oh, it's so sad though. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens when we get there. I might have to be ruthless. And then you can go to the market here. They did change all this a little bit. Same with the airport. You can then go to different places. And then once you're in the different places, you can go to the wildlife park like this. Oh no. Yeah, I know I have no space. And uh, you'll get different horses, hopefully, in the different areas that you go to. Don't know what the blacksmith is all about. I never used this, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh dear. And the equi store. 
I never use any of this either. I think this is a little bit... It's not for me. I just like the breeding and stuff. That's all I care about. I suppose if we buy tack for one of our horses... I do like the colours here though. It's cool. Then, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I just never use any of this. I don't know why, but I don't. I haven't checked on Morning Dust Ranch actually. Maybe that could be next. I just, I can't get into it. It's too slow for me that game guys, I'm being honest. I've tried really hard to get into it, I just can't at the moment. You guys reckon I'm being a bit, I don't know, am I being a bit short with it? Do I need to keep giving it a chance? I need to remember to log in. Anyway, that's it today. I just wanted to show you guys the cool foals. I'm super chuffed, especially with this. This is very hard, this is very rare to breed. So I'm super happy with that. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I thought I'd keep you updated. But if you've got any ideas for what I should be focusing on with Horse Reality, then please shoot, shoot your ideas below in the comment section. Massive shout out to all my channel members, to all of you guys that like the videos as well, because it really helps the channel. So if you could like the video, that would really be helpful. If you aren't subscribed and you love horse games, then you're in the right place. Please do subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Otherwise, YouTube is not going to let you know when I've posted videos, which is obviously super helpful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a awesome day. Bye.